What's going on guys, Kellen Reck here. Today we're gonna talk a little bit more about the EOS R5. It's been a few weeks since I've posted. I wanted to catch up on the latest news. Obviously things are a little bit hectic in the world right now, so we are quarantined, we're home, we're staying safe, we're hoping everybody out there is staying safe as well. Um, but today we're gonna talk a little bit about the camera and see where the latest specs have been, what you can expect with this camera. We don't totally know when it's gonna arrive. Obviously things are getting moved around, but we're gonna take a little bit of a look here. So here's what we're talking about. We're talking about the Canon EOS R5. This is an 8K camera. So things are gonna get wild. Things are gonna get interesting with this camera. It's gonna be the game changer for Canon. It could be the game changer for all camera companies. We've talked about it before, but we've really locked down on some specs here coming from Canon. So let's look at what those are. It's 8K video up to 30 frames per second with no crop. So this is truly, truly something that would be brand new. We haven't seen in a camera like this before, especially a camera of this size and especially a mirrorless camera. 8K video, massive, massive resolution with no crop. So I don't know if there's a some sort of takeaway from this. I don't know if that means the price point shooting up. I don't know what it means, but it means we're gonna have fantastic video features in this camera. So something to seriously look forward to, obviously. And we've talked about it before, but we're now confirming that that is going to be the resolution with no crop that the EOS R5 is putting out. So very, very good to see. We've also confirmed that there's gonna be dual pixel autofocus in 8K mode. So this is an even better thing to see. The Canon dual pixel autofocus is something that, um, has placed Canon in a really good position against other cameras, especially when you're vlogging or you're using a setup where you need to use autofocus. That has been one of their strong suits and now seeing that they're gonna have this in the 8K mode is something even wilder. Now, I don't know that you'd be doing any vlogging or anything in 8K, the file sizes would be absurd, but when you do need that autofocus setup, 8K is gonna have that feature. So. You know, I don't know quite what you might want to use it for, but the fact that they have it, it's there, we're confirming it, that is great. So 8K, 30 frames per second, dual pixel autofocus in all 8K modes. So that is great to see. Now, something else we're seeing about this EOS R5 is that there's gonna be body autofocus tracking, face autofocus tracking, and eye autofocus tracking. So you've got all of those options depending on how close you're shooting, depending what you're shooting. So the autofocus is gonna be huge in this camera. So we're seeing massive resolutions with the 8K video. We're seeing incredible autofocus. So clearly Canon's trying to lock in on video users with the EOS R5. Don't totally know what the megapixel count's gonna be because there have been different rumors on that. It could be higher, there could be an EOS R6 that has a very high megapixel count. So we're gonna see where things transcend or tr things go with, um, with that development. But really for video users, the EOS R5 is gonna be a top tier camera. Now let's just take a look at some of the other things that we're seeing here. In regards to the megapixel count, there's talk of a EOS camera with um, 150 megapixels. I don't believe that would be the EOS R5. However, I don't know. If that's the case, that is going to be um, absurd megapixel count. I mean, those photos will be of massive resolution. So we'll see what it is. I mean, if the camera is gonna have 8K video, who knows, it could have a high megapixel count as well. So all up in the air. But at this point, I just wanted to give you the update. We'll stay on track of it. We'll see how the timeline shifts. Obviously with uh, COVID-19, we're having some um, delays on what we expected things to do. We, we don't know when things will be arriving, when they'll be produced or what the deal is, but we're gonna stay patient. We're gonna keep trucking on and, uh, and we'll be back with more news soon. So thanks for checking out. We'll check you back in the next one. Thanks guys.